Hi everybody, this is Susie, and welcome to another Treasures Deluxe Design Team video. I'd like to share with you this little special project that I've created just for fun, um, and I hope that you, you enjoy um, having a look to see at what I've created here. Um, I've used all of the products from Treasures Deluxe Etsy shop. I will leave all of the links and item names in the drop down box right below here for you to see. That was my finger there. Okay, and I've made these really, really fun um, clothespin magnets, and they're so pretty. I made two of them to share with you in two different colors using two types of flowers and two different types of lace. And what you see here is this really beautiful lace. It's in an ivory color. I, I call it like a butterfly lace. I think it's so beautiful. I just, I really do think it's beautiful. And I just cut a piece of the lace off and um, I've added it to the base of the um, clothespin. But before I had done anything, I've actually um, distressed the clothespin some. And I've just opened up the blinds to my craft room to get better lighting. And what I did here um, is I distressed it just with some vintage photos so I would get rid of that whitewash look um, the way you buy them. And so I kind of done that all around with a little bit of ink. And then at the base of the lace, right on top of that, I put these really pretty shooting pearls with the little baby breath kind of flower in there. And those are in a, a very pale pink. And then off of one of the uh, floral vines that's also in the Treasures Deluxe Etsy shop, I took one of the leaves from that. I'm going to just quickly show you what that was. Just back away a little here. So right here I took one of these leaves and I took one of these little flowers. They're so beautiful. I absolutely love them. Along with the shooting pearl that already comes on there. And I added that to the base as well. And I did not cut away any of those wires that come on the flowers, the shooting pearl, or anything. I left them all on and I coiled them around the paintbrush just to give it a little bit of dimension and something kind of sticking out of there to make it look pretty along with the shooting pearls. And in there I put the really beautiful um, fabric roses with the hint of painted gold paint that comes on there. They all come like that with a hint of gold paint, just really beautiful. Gives it that really nice antique-ish type of look. And um, here's that little flower that also came with the, the vine, the shooting pearls, and the, uh, and the pink leaf. And I just put a couple of little stray pearls from my stash in there. And this one at the bottom is plain because I'm actually going to put this on a gift bag for somebody, which these make really cute little gift toppers because you can leave these on your desk with like a little post-it, you know, that may be of importance to you. Like, oh, you know, here, I'll just show you a quick example. Oh, I got to call this person today. Let me leave that on my desk. Or a friend at work, it's the birthday and you want to put a little note in there. You can use these for many things, but just don't hang your clothes up with them, that's all. And I just also wanted to share with you um, one that I had made in another color as well. So let me just remove that. Okay, I did this one in a peach color. I wanted to give you different ideas on how you can use the Treasures Deluxe products in the same way. And the biggest of gifts and beautiful things that you can make down to from a a wall item or some kind of trinket box or cards and this you can use for your refrigerator refrigerator magnet see on the bottom I used some strip of magnet which I'll show you what that is you can actually purchase this at a craft store it's it's magnet on a roll you just peel and stick it really sticks to basically everything and you can use one little piece goes a long way. So as you can see, I distressed this one, but I don't know if you can tell that there's a little bit of stamping going on over there. I stamped some script stamp, and I used a um, this thing my husband has. It makes holes in it. It's like a carpenter tool, and I just put a little hole in there with a jump ring and a pretty looking hanging pearl to make this one look a little different because this one will be hanging on a refrigerator. 
or a file cabinet, wherever the person's going to want to hang it. And mind you, I already have these on my refrigerator, and I really love them. <laughs> they really do work. Like if you need to put like a, a $10 bill on the refrigerator to remind yourself that you have to pay the delivery guy or something, then you just put it there, and it stays put, and it looks pretty. And so here I have more of the Treasures Deluxe Beautifulness. And these are some of the flowers that I have used. I just used one flower, and it already has those beautiful pearls coming out of it. But that wasn't enough for me. I needed to use those really pretty peach pearls. So I put those at the bottom with this really beautiful lace. And again, like I mentioned, I will put that in the drop-down box below. The lace is a cream-colored ivory lace, a little bit darker than the other one really beautiful and on top of that I had added the shooting pearl in like a peachy color very very pretty and on top of that this flower kind of almost looks like an, an orchid with shooting pearls I just love it it's peach and it's all fabric kind of like a nylon and when you get it if it's just a little wrinkled from the shipping don't worry just snap your heat gun at it really quick and just roll it through your fingers and it straightens out perfectly and um, on top of that, I added two of these little fabric flowers that are really beautiful. I love the peach color with the gold. It really does give it a nice vintage kind of color. I know a lot of us are into the shabby chic look. Um, we can also have shabby chic with peach. It doesn't always have to be pink and cream and blue. So the peach is a really shabby look. I just really adore the way it came out. If you look on the other side, I've also used these really little small twisted flowers that have like a, um, a tint of tinsel all around it. Very, very pretty. And one is a cream color and the other one is a bright peach. And the coils are from the stems of the, this one is a stem of the large flower. And all of the other coils are from the flowers uh, that are a little bit small, the actual roses. So, um, yeah, that's that's basically it on these. I wanted to do something uh, that was pretty and um, that was fun to make. And just to let you go ahead and buy um, several different items from Lucy's shop. Because you don't only have to use every single flower and all of the lace on one project. What I'm showing you here is two different types of laces that you can go ahead and use on a small project and still have lace left over to go ahead and make something else which that makes you want to get more lace because now you can make more projects with the same beautiful laces and the beautiful flowers and how you can break up so many things here and wind up having one final product that's really beautiful whether you use it for yourself or you use it as a gift for somebody. They're really cute. Um, I tested it already as far as putting it on the file cabinet. It's magnetic. So it sticks nicely. So for those of you that have file cabinets in your craft room or your home office or at work, you can certainly use these. If you want to have these um, hold heavier items and a, a money or one or two small pieces of paper, you can certainly use a heavy weighted magnet, which um, you can certainly use something like this. See, there was something stuck to this and I just peeled it off and now I have this big one which I have in mind and I'm going to be um, using this for something else but just giving you an example um, you can certainly glue these to a heavier magnet and then you've got a heavy weighted clip. So I hope that you have enjoyed seeing these two beautiful altered clothespins magnet. Actually like I had mentioned earlier that one is a magnet and one is not a magnet. One is stamped, one is not. One has a little charm hanging from it, and one does not. So you can really, um, you can really uh, do these any way that you like. You can certainly do them all lace. You can do them all flowers, and you can just let your mind run away and um, have a good time making these really cute little crafty things for fun and for gifts. The clothespins are very inexpensive. You get about 36 of them for like $2 in a local hardware store, and then you can just have fun. 
by shopping at Treasures Deluxe at Etsy. So um, check the drop down box below for more information on how you can get some of these for yourself. And don't forget to mention that Susie Craft just sent you for your free gift. Thank you so much for coming by today. Have a great day, everybody. Bye.